how do you um, define stress what is your idea about stress pressure i put on myself myself yeah self inflicted worry huh self inflicted worries self inflict inflicted yes you bring worry. it upon yourself you do it to yourself yeah hmm. because you know that's very <laughs> very famous word that uh, we always hear that uh, I am stressed out and I'm stressful the stressful situation and, and how do we how can I deal with uh, stress and so many people have that uh, question too and how can I deal with it and some people do talk about how to deal with uh, stress and depression too so that's why I wanted to ask about the stress and how how you def- how you feel about it and how you define it because i thought um, um that it would be good if i can talk about stress and how to deal with the stress uh, this morning uh, and so today this morning we will be talking about that dealing with uh, stress so first of all it's not uh, first of you know first of all the stress is not uh, a happy situation or a good thing right <laughs> it's suffering so we have to understand that that what uh, if stress means what is it and it's a very very um, hurtful situation it hurts us so uh, i looked at, uh, i searched it in the dictionary how the dictionary says about the stress and what, you know, how it defines um, the stress it says pressure or tension exerted on an object so yeah like when we have a big tension you know in our mind uh, exert on an object you know whatever object it is maybe uh, that uh, maybe maybe we need to do something we need to get something done very quickly but we can't get it so there's a big pressure in us i want to get it that i want to get it done i want to get it done now 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 so it creates a big tension in you right? right so then you are not very calm or peaceful and happy either so first of all we want to understand that stress is completely a uh, hurtful situation and it's it hurts it's suffering and it is a big pressure which is uh, created in us uh, it it happens so you know that tension that pressure uh, comes to be according to the way our mind uh, behave or acts or you know our mind according to the way our mind is at the moment uh, we get uh, stressed out because the uh, that is stress you know the, the mental um worrying you know we are, we are worrying mentally and we are so much uh, worrying and you know not you know not good we don't feel good and sometimes we you know we are angry because that because because uh, stress can create anger in us because it is a sad feeling 
which we you know the uh, stress is a sad feeling that arises in our mind it is because of uh, it is because of our uh, our greed or our desire that's why you know because of greed and desire uh, because of our wanting and our hmm, our what do you call the urgent or oh, uh, urges huh urges urges like you need it very quickly urgency urgency yeah yeah urgency you know to you know we we are eager to have something no big desire to have it or to get it done or to do it so but if we don't get done what we want to get done or if we couldn't do what we wanted to do or if we don't um if we lose something that we had that we had and then we become uh, stressed out quickly because we suffer there is a big pressure in our mind big tension in our mind so and we suffer with it uh if we know how to um lead our mind without getting stressed out i think that is the best solution it's the best thing that we can do to be away from stress so what we have to do is we need to understand how to lead our mind to to go you know to you know continue uh, or how to lead our mind without get thing stressed out how we can maintain our mind without getting stressed out and what we should do when we get stressed out that's another thing that we want to understand and so i told you first of all we need to understand what is stress you know what is what is that what does it mean we say we talk about it but we need to pay attention very closely and see what it is because when we understand and when we see stress very closely when you, you know when you pay attention to it very closely and very attentively we are able to understand what is stress when we understand that we can understand what is the cause of it and then you are you have a solution then you know what to do then you come to understand that there is a cessation of stress if i do this because you know you become mindful of it you become mindful of the present situation which you are going through so there is a stressful situation that can be a stressful situation so you have to be mindful of the stress of that feeling of that mental feeling it's a sad feeling um which has uh, arisen in your mind because things are not as you want or things are not as you expected or things are not uh in your way or on your way going your way things are not going on your way right yeah things are not going on your way so then you get complete yeah going your way oh that going your way okay things are not going your way and they don't go your way so 
then you completely get you know stressed out so what if we don't have this idea what is the, you know this idea there's a very special idea in our mind uh, which is very troublesome that is the we think that things should be my way <laughs> So what if we don't have that idea? Papa stress. Ah, see? No your way. Huh? No your way. <laughs> yeah. Can't sing that song Frank Sinatra says, my way. <laughs> so do you understand what I'm saying? Right. These things, you know, if you think that you know, if you don't think, yeah, if you don't expect things be on our be our way then we don't have that kind of tension or pressure in us but as long as that idea is present in our mind we get stressed out americans say go with the flow go with the flow yeah you Another know you river just flowed down the river now yeah yeah the yeah, even i even i have mentioned that you know ri- you you can't stop the river you have to observe the river but what does it what always happens there is the water is flowing if you are trying to hold down the water you are going to have trouble but it let it flow as it flow and just observe it Just this is paddling up the stream. Upstream instead of downstream. <laughs> Against the flow. Against the flow, you know, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, whatever it is, and this in this case, what we want to um, do is change the way we think. How, you know, how can we do that? How can we change the way we think? Because always we think that I am right, I do well, and things should be on my way. Things should be my way, and others should uh, others also should do what I say. And my my daughter, my son, my family, my husband, my wife, they do they should do what I say, what I what I what I ask them to do. And these ways of thinking can create lots of troubles. What do you think about it? Yeah, that's what happens all the time. Yeah. So I've, never, I've never had more time in my life than I do now. Yeah. But I still got as much stress as I did 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I got to accomplish something. My husband's not going to move quick enough to help me to do it, you know. Yeah. And why? You know, you got to get the house ready for company. Yeah. And it's all that stupid stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get that it, is the other thing. Got to get it done, got to get it done. What if, what if it's not ready for company, I guess? You know, so the company has a house that's a little less organized and clean, you know. So. Yeah, but we think that that is not... It's important. Yeah, we think that it's important. Yeah, we think that it's important. Yeah. Yeah, think that it's well, important. Like we were taught to be that. <laughs> yeah. I was taught that my entire life. That's the whole problem that's we you know, our we, entire been, life. You know, I've been taught all my life that I'm right and everybody else is wrong. You know, oh, and, and and when things don't like when Marion called this morning, what's mm-hmm. the first reaction? I got angry. <laughs> you know. I, I I was why didn't you call me earlier? I you know, I could have yeah. gotten here. Yeah. Because I had plans on yeah. what I wanted to do yeah. this morning and what I want to do after here. I had planned my whole day out. That's the problem, that we do have our own plan now. We, we are living on a dreams, like we are living on a future plan. We, you know, we think I should do this next, 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 and then we do have a whole plan. It's okay to have a plan, but don't stick with it. You know, be, have, be flexible. <laughs> be flexible with it, you know, be flexible. Well, I think that the key is don't be with it if, if, it's necess- if it's necessary to not be with it. 
But see, I was always taught to get angry too, which yes. creates stress, right? But that's my first reaction. Yeah, be, 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 you know, uh, be flexible. That's the whole point. That's a really good point that we we can, um, uh, un, you know, we should understand and that, you know, we should understand that point and we should use it. Uh, we should not think in, we should, ne we should not think in uh, uh, those ways. We should let go of that big tension uh, without the, you know, without letting it be a big pressure in us. So it's all it's all up to you. You know the way you think. It's very important. To, you know, it's we have we have to change the way we think. So suppose as as uh, she said, um, you know, I have to ready I have to ready this house for the company. Okay, so do do it. Yes, you can do it. And but. You don't think that are you others should help me and my daughter should help me, my father, my husband, they should help me and you know, uh, uh, you know, don't think in that way. So then, if you think, if you think that, if you think those with, you know, that way and you get stressed out because when, you know, when they don't help you, right? But this is what we should do. I will try to do my best. I will try to get this house ready for the company my best. So be happy and have you know have a mind to be happy with the situation. Do like you know be happy with it. Okay, I did so far. I did so, you know somewhat. Somewhat I did it. Somewhat I cleaned the house. Someone else, you know and then uh, be happy about others too and and also the other thing is that you did a good karma you made a good karma so because you you are cleaning your home and when you clean your home others also can live quite comfortable in your you know in your home so then you help others to live comfortably in that home and that's a good karma so when you engage in such actions, do it delightedly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But see, I, I have that. I, I've been programmed for that anger. I mean, it's. <laughs> but you know what? You you are you are you are devaluing your actions when you are thinking that way. If you if you if you can uh, delight in that action, you you are giving a big value for your actions. Because such good action that you're doing, right? You're helping others, but you think that others don't help me. Others don't. Others don't care. Why? Why? No. We should change that way of thinking. Well, that's what happened yesterday when you called me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, so. Me too. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> then. You know, be happy. You know, be happy uh, with what you did, and delight in your work, delight in that action that you did so far. So whatever you do, you know, when you do in a good action, do it delightedly. Don't think about others. Why others can't do that? Why others couldn't do this? Why others can't couldn't help me? Why can't they do help me? So those are some bunch of bombs. <laughs> bombs. Bombs. Yeah, bombs. Bombs. Yeah, right? Bombs. Not bombs. 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 Explode. Explode. Boom. Bombs. It's a great way to describe it. <laughs> poisons. Yeah. They're poisons. That's, that's the word. Yeah. Things poisons. are not important to the other person that you're angry with because they won't. You know, it's not. It's not a priority to the other people in the house to help you with it, you know. And and they're not they're being mean or anything. It's just that they're. It's in my own head that this has to be done. This has to be done. Yeah. It's too much to do. Yeah. I want somebody help. Yeah. Why well, I need some more help. So yeah. I take a nap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, you know. But uh, but you can't even have a nap. But but now in this case, in that case, that nobody's helping you, 
and you, but you're just thinking if they can help me, we can get this done very quickly, and also I also can have a nap, and that just to some thoughts that's going on in your that, that's um, uh, spinning around in your mind, but they don't really help you. So then you don't get even at a nap, even a nap, and you don't you don't ca you can't even enjoy your work. So you lose both of them. But if you think, okay, let them have a nap, I will do this work. So then how much sacrificing is there, and how much, you know, kindness is there, how much compassion is there? Do you understand that? You know, you think very kindly. And you think, okay, let, the, let others have time and rest themselves. You, you have kind thought towards them. And you don't get angry, because you have kindness. No, you think, oh, let others be happy, let others to, to have a nap. I will do this my best, or my best, not, not perfect. Okay, not perfect. Right? So I will do my best and do it delightedly. And delight in your work and don't get angry with it. If you get angry with your actions and with that, and then you devalue your actions. You are not doing it happily. You are losing lots of good actions. You know, you don't, you, you lose the happiness, the, the peace which is with that action. <coughs> and then if you can, you know, and also you are losing the sympathetic joy. You don't have sympathetic joy at that moment. Because you, when you, you are working, others are not working, so they are doing their stuff. And then you don't have sympathetic joy, you know, you cannot be happy when others are very, others are resting themselves. And you think, why, they, why can't they help me? They just sleeping or you know, just watching something. Why can't they come and help me? So then we think that I, they should help me, they must help me. No, if they like to help me, let them do so. If they don't like with me, let that be too. In, you know, anyway, either way, it's fine. It's fine. Nothing to worry about it. And also, you know, we have to be mindful of ourselves uh, when, you know, just in case when we get uh, stressed out, when we get frustrated, we need to understand that we are frustrated. When we understand that we are frustrated, Right after that, we can act, we can react to it, we can let it blur, we can let it go away when we understand that we are frustrated. Because, you know, if you have practiced this, you know, mindfulness technique and this meditation, and then right after it arises in you, you can recognize it and then you can let it fade away, slowly, slowly, slowly. Because even, you know, and the other, the other important thing is when you are mindful of it, you can see which created that frustration or that stress, that uh, anger. When you see the cause of it, you know what to do. Then you don't, you know, you, can, you see that, oh, this thought, this way of thinking, made me frustrated, made me stressed out. So then you change it quickly because you know that I don't know you know you you, 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 you know that and also you understand that it is very hurtful. It really hurts you. So you know that, you understand that. Therefore you let it go. You let it go because you understand the cause of it. But we tend to blame others instead of looking at ourselves and see the see the flow, see the uh, cause of stress, and we don't let it go. Having the main sources of stress in our own mind, we you know we we blame we tend to blame others. So then we can't be free from stress or that frustration, as long as we blame others. 
he didn't do that he didn't help me she did wrong thing he did wrong thing my husband didn't help me and they didn't do this my friend didn't do this and so, you know just some you know pointing at others but if you look at ourselves then we can say i was thinking you know we can see that the way we were thinking was wrong that's what create that's what created that pressure in your mind so then we no longer let it be in our mind we don't think again like that and there's no such pressure or such tension in our mind so mainly you know stress or uh, frustration uh, come to be you know they take place when we think in a selfish way so we have to recognize it and let go of it it's not it's not good to point at others it's all about ourselves it's all about our mind it's all about the way we think so even like if i it happen if i you know if i thought like that i mean <laughs> i wouldn't be here today in this monastery i would have left this country long ago i wouldn't stay here so i was here for yeah. along myself for a long time and lots of thing happen and i had to dealt with uh, lots of people with various kind of people lots of things and and i had to do lots of things all by myself to help people and i didn't ask anybody to begin this monastery <laughs> even my teacher didn't ask anybody to begin you know study this monastery no we were invited to come here but we st- still we are here the monks are coming here and we are continuing because we know we know we, we learned that how we should be kind that is our kindness compassion not only just me not only just me other monks and our me other uh, our teacher because we were we are thinking of how to help people anyway you know we know that the people don't understand everything we have to be patient if we thought that things should be like this way this way this way this way this way and then there is no peace but a fight <laughs> so there shouldn't be there wouldn't be a fight if we knew how to think how to think you know how to think right right way rightly or right easily so even at even in your home you wouldn't get any problem if you think wisely you you wouldn't get you yeah you sh- you wouldn't get stressed out if you thought wisely so then what we have to do it let begin to think wisely without thinking uh, selfishly and foolishly because we want to understand that we can't control others we can't control anything as we want so let things be as they are let's go with things let's be f- flexible and let's have a very um very um organized pattern of you know we will we'll organize life pattern so what we should organize what is that organized life pattern the first thing that you need to apply that pattern is your mind second your verbal action and your bodily action too you know the way you see things that's why right to view is very helpful 
to be happy, to be calm and peaceful. And that's why that four divine abodes are very, very useful. Kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy and equanimity. So, when you live in your home, when you live in your home, in the society, you need to have compassion, you need to have kindness to everybody. Even when you live in your home, you have to be kind to your husband, wife, children, and parents, and friends. And you, have, you need to have compassion towards them. When you have that kindness and compassion, then you do, you work for them. You help them. You clean your home. You don't care, you don't care about them. I mean, you don't care that whether they help you or not. You do it all by yourself. And also, but you have, you are, if you are really kind to them, and then when you have, when you, when you all members uh, meet together, you talk about Dhamma, how beneficial is the kindness and help each other and keep everything is clean. You do talk about it and you teach your children how valuable is helping each other, how valuable is working uh, together. Then then every you know you you just you sneak into their mind and you t help them to you plant good seeds in their mind that gives a chance for them to think about those good stuff they also will tend to do good things they will tend to help because you are talking about it you're thinking, you, you had a nice conversation about it. How important is to help each other. How valuable and how uh, beneficial is to keep uh, the clean, the house clean and keep everything well organized. So even, the, even the, you know, even like, you know, uh, maybe they, they wouldn't listen to you. So don't worry about it. You tried your best. Okay, now, don't let them to ruin yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't let them what? Ruin yourself. Oh, okay. Right? Don't let them do it. Be peaceful and calm and, you know, you will understand that what you are practicing, what you're doing, if you understand what you're doing and if you value them and then you don't let anybody to ruin yourself. Ruin yourself means you, do, you don't let uh, get angry or you don't get stressed out just because others don't help you. You let them be as, you let as they are and you help yourself. Help yourself. How we can help ourselves? If there is only you to do that, do it happily. Do it anyway. Do it happily. <laughs> That's right. Happily. Not angrily, not aggressively, not just stress. Happily. If you, if it really, if it creates a big tension in you, you know, that you can't control it, Stop that and just have a relax, just have a rest and don't think about the party or the companion and whatever it is, just have a rest and have a breath. Because it is so important to be, to have a peaceful mind rather than that, rather than getting that works done. Sometimes we tend to do that with anger and with that pressure and then when we tend to do it more and more that pressure grows and then it can be a big problem 
so therefore first you know have a peaceful mind have a peaceful mind just that's a, that should be the first first target and a while ago there was a, you know sri lankan person who was coming here and uh, uh so you know uh, he got really angry with other members some hum 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 members why because they didn't uh, bring food for us so and i told him it's not a good thing to get angry with them just because they don't they don't bring food for us you know what if you are happy with that you can share what if you like to share what you have that if you do you can share that with us even a piece of if you have if you have only a piece of bread you can share that one we are not asking you to bring a lot of food here <laughs> and also we don't want you to bring food too we will be happy with whatever we have we don't care and if we have to stay hungry we will stay hungry that's fine we can drink water <laughs> we can eat we can be nourished by our rapture that we got true that we can gain that we can uh gain through the uh noble qualities that rapture can make that the rapture can nourish us and stay all the a that for because we have been like that sometimes we had time you know not only me in all monks i'm talking about all monks and in sri lanka too sometimes people don't you know people miss the dana and some, sometimes they get late they get late they can't come before 12 so then what happened monks has to eat something only cookie a little cookies so they do it too. Mm-hmm. and they live they didn't die even i didn't die he didn't die he didn't mm-hmm. die yet It takes till we are alive huh? <laughs> it takes two or three days without food to get really sick <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you know we, the following day we get really sick, yeah. Yeah. we get we get food following day so no nothing to worry about <coughs> oh you know then we will do something we can go house to house and ask him food the yeah. path that's not that wasn't a big deal at that time but anyway so then i did, i told him no you know he's he's he, he had he he was angry he was he's just mad and even he's making me mad too <laughs> by saying such things and i told him i didn't let him do it i told him no it's wrong mm-hmm. if you if you are happy with that if you are happy with what we are doing what we are doing and if you are ha- if you are really enjoying our companion if you like us you can share whatever you have even a little piece of bread so others they will do it as they can and as they enjoy our companion don't worry about it so we don't care don't worry about it let's be happy with this so that's fine and so th- that's that's how we should think that's how we should act no when we we create that big pressure in us we create that tension in us and we suffer others are not suffering just because of our pressure mm-hmm. right yeah. am i being clear yes okay. right so then let's change the way we think let's change the way we the way, the way we act and be mindful and don't have you know we should not have you know i wouldn't have a very tough and very uh trigid schedule when we have such very tough very uh, rigid schedule then something can happen that don't allow us to go with it then there is a collision that create a big accident and then you suffer because you couldn't do what you wanted to do you couldn't continue your plan your schedule so you suffer there is a big pressure in you that was created by yourself 
by your mind because the way you were thinking was wrong. Well, lots of times in our culture, though, it, even if you can't help it or if you're late, and so, I mean, it can, can come down to losing your um, life means of support, <laughs> financial support, your life. Yeah. No, how 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 how, how are you gonna lose your life? Lose your job. So. Job, you, you just that created. That is the pressure that you created in you. You, 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 why, why we don't act rightly and why don't we do it and, you know, um, um, why don't we organize ourselves? If you get late and it doesn't mean that you are going to die, you know, mm-hmm. may, you may die before you go to work mm-hmm. on the way, that's another thing. Mm-hmm. We may die, so what is the problem? What's the matter? Oh yeah, we are going to die one day. Maybe tomorrow, maybe today, maybe the after tomorrow, maybe ten years after. So what? What is the matter? Mm-hmm. Right? What? What? You know, but the problem is there is a problem. You know, we ha- there is the thing that we should do before we die. What is that? Is be is being mindful of the present moment and be kind and have develop as much as as much kindness as you can, as much compassion as you can. Because those are the things which helps you to um, be calm and be peaceful and also those things help you to have a good life after you die too. That's really important to be to have kindness and compassion and sympathetic joy and equanimity. You know, go with what is going on. And if you think that I, if you think that I want money to be happy, then you have to make money to be happy. And then you are working so hard to make money. You you created that pressure in you. Your greed, your your desires create that pressure in you. But you can, we can understand that. We can't see that. That's why I told you be be mindful of that stressful situation, of that moment, then you will see what causes that stress in you. That's very, very important to be mindful of that stress, of the situation, to recognize it. It's very important to recognize that stress in order to see the cause of it. When we see the cause of that stress, then we know what is the solution of it and what we should do. And then we, what we need is, we need peace, so then we will let that pressure release. We'll, we will release that pressure by changing the way we were thinking of. And then you will be able to come to the present moment and breathe in and breathe out. You only need to do right now is breathe in and breathe out. Don't forget that one. <laughs> Right? Okay. <laughs> we can't because we haven't paid attention to that. We are on. We are in next moment. Why we can't be in right this moment? Right? And if you know that you can't even yeah you can't control others, and then look at yourself and restrain yourself. And like, you know, you can't even control your thoughts. Mm. So then how can you control others? Mm. If you can't control yourself, you can't control others. Because you can't control your mind, you can't think what you want to think. Right? Just it has to do, as he said, with, you know, we we are brought up from little children. It, we are programmed from day one with this stress and this anger and this scolding. You know, the, the, greed and selfishness yeah. and me 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 me. One of the first the, one of the <coughs> and it takes on all one of the biggest words that parents use when they're young is no 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 you know and, and the spanking on the bottom and the anger and you know and. Lots of parents are very verbally abusive and 
a lot of parents are very physically abusive. I mean, they will beat you half to death. You know, I know people that have been whipped numbers of times. Yeah, so, you know, but now you got a chance to learn something very useful. Exactly. So this is what, what I'm saying is this is deep programming, which is harder than coming a while from a change. gentle atmosphere. And coming from the East, maybe with more Buddhists around, it, there's less of that negative programming. Aggression. We start out in aggression when we're born and, yeah. and are taught to be aggressive. Yeah. So... It's a case of deprogramming, which is harder. Yeah, it's, it, it, it makes hard to understand the situation, too. Even because though we understand, we're, it's, we're still programmed. <laughs> yeah. So it's a matter of well, yeah. like a reboot. And, you know, in a computer term. But, but, that, 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 yeah. but you know what, yeah. but that but program, that? Yeah, that, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give you a program that you, are, that you can uninstall that program, that older version, yeah. and install the good version and good, <laughs> good protection, it's good security long, in you. It's a long load time. It, 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 <laughs> no, it depends on, it depends on the way you see things. It depends on the way you see this. It depends on the way you understand this. It depends on the speed of your connection. It depends on the way it depends on the way you practice it. Yeah, you know, even for me it took for, you know long time to understand things from some some, some facts. But day by day, day by day, I come to understand new things, I mean which is really good, which is really helpful in you know these dumber facts. Why? Because we are on the path. We should be on the path. We should come to the path. So I realized that the more we come to the path, we understand more. The more we understand, path become more clear and clearer and clearer. But we can do it more practice. And you know, that helps you to let go of lots of things. That can release a big pressure from your mind. I think that also an understanding and forgiveness. You have to forgive anyway. Because forgive yesterday I told him that I, my mind was All melted right. yesterday. You know, after the lunch I was in my room and I, my mind was melted. You know, melted. What happened? I mean, not, I mean, not, not worrying and not suffering. Oh. I mean, like, you know, compassionated. Good. Like, uh, I was thinking of whole being of the world. I, I told him. No, these people are not, not like they are so egoistic. I mean, this this world, people being so, people are very, very egoistic, and they don't understand that there are people. They have real good compassions towards them. They don't understand, and they act. They act very, you know, you know, in a very, in a bad way, but but they are helpless. Even though they think that they have, they are protected, no, but not. They are not protected. They are not well guarded. They are helpless. And we were, so we were talking about it. So that's why we were thinking of like, yeah, we should try to help people as much as we can to change the way they think and just be happy and calm and peaceful at the present moment. Not just be, not not, not to have big pressure in themselves. We create that pressure in ourselves and we suffer. It happens most of the time because of the way I would think. So when we change the way we think, we are able to have a peaceful life. So tension and the big you know stress and depression and all of those things and frustration comes all the way. as long as we think in a wrong way. So when we think, you know, when we think wisely and when we have more kindness, more compassion in us, we will tend to think wisely. We will be able to let go of lots of stress and depression. 
then you will help, you will tend to help do lots of things and help people and help your parents, help your children, help your husband, wife, but you don't hope anything back. If you hope anything back from them, wish. Huh? Wish for yeah, if you wish anything back from them, you are going to have suffer. You are going to suffer because if you are going to suffer if you don't get anything back that you expected. So if, 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 you know, if something doesn't happen as you expect, then you suffer, right? Something, you, something, you, you expected something to happen, but it didn't happen. Then you are suffering. You're not happy, you're not calm, you're not peaceful. What made that? that your expectation. We have lots of expectation. We expect things to be my way. We expect to things happen my way. But it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen as we expected. Then we suffer. We are stressed out. We can't be peaceful and calm. I'll just do that, okay? <laughs> okay. So, um, then we have to look at ourselves and be satisfied with what we have done so far and with what we have. So when you are at your home, when you do something, do it mindfully and happily. Be happy. You know, try this. You know, you will be amazed by this if you try this. Don't think, don't expect others' help. Just do it all by yourself, happily. And after that you will be able to have a nap too. And, but you are peaceful. Even you, when you were doing it, you were peaceful. And after you are done, maybe after 10 hours, you will be able to get that done. And then you can have a nice nap peacefully. If you did that with anger and with stress and with that pressure, and then you go to bed thinking to sleep, you don't get enough sleep, you get really frustrated. And you lose lots of time, lots of valuable thing in your life. Right? Do you understand that? Am I being clear? Yes. Yeah. And you're right between the eyes. Yeah. Could you repeat that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so if you uh, have kindness and compassion and... And do whatever you do happily. And happily, then you, you won't have any stress. Any stress. And do as you can. And think that I will do it my, as my best. Not perfectly. My best. That's all you can do. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, that's what you can do. And then you are out of stress and depression. It's, it's, and stop worrying. Yeah, that, that it stops worrying. And don't think that all. Don't think always that I am, you know, I am right, and the others are wrong, and others should help me, and I should get help. Oh. Those ways of thinking uh, are not related to kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. You have lack of these four qualities. That's why you get stressed out. When we have more kindness, compassion, sympathy, joy and equanimity, we are able to be calm and peaceful. Because you are richest, you are rich. We need to be richer, we need to be richest in these noble qualities. We need to reach with these noble qualities, not with money. Money is not really important to be happy. It's, it's, it is the 
second hand, second time, second thing. No, 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 not to be happy just for your life, to, li to live, to buy some food, to buy a house. That's all. The most important thing is to have a pe to have peaceful mind. To have, you know, to have a peaceful mind, you need to have uh, such uh, mm, such peaceful, such you know, peaceful states which produce peace. Peace comes from a peaceful mind. So mind can be peaceful when mind is filled with kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. So more you develop these four qualities in you, you will able to let go of stress. Don't see others' flaws. Don't see. Don't try to think what others are doing. Don't think about what politicians are doing. Don't think about what other people in other countries are doing. Don't think about what what Palestinian people are doing. What Israeli, what <laughs> Australian, or whatever those people are doing. Israeli. Yeah, Australian. Uh. But don't think about what Muslim people or Christian people or what they're uh. doing. Don't think about that. What can you do? What is by thinking? You get this stress out. That's all, <laughs> right? That's all. And you, you, feed, you, you um, feed your anger, hatred. What are you losing? It's your peace, happiness, calm. But we have to sign petitions. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of petition is that? Well, um, you know, an email. Uh -huh. uh, different organizations that uh -huh. are good organizations, mm -hmm. they're very caring, mm -hmm. um, compassionate, and they want to help. And so they just say, if you feel strongly that um, you know uh, something should happen, sign this petition, and we will send it to the, you know, look to the oh, the you know, do you? or the senator, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was making yeah, a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I do, I do fill those out. <laughs> okay, I you know uh, that kind of wo violence and things will be present in this world as long as greed, anger, delusion, hatred are present. As long as they think that you know in a very segregated way, and they think that we are Muslim, we are Christian, we are Buddhist, and you know those you know it's religion and nations and sin, those are very selfish ways of, of thinking. They're saying we're better than everybody else. So yeah, that's deserve. what they think. So we deserve it. Well, what, what, why, you know, why can't we see everyone as humans? Right? Everyone is as beings. So that's the truth, right? Mm -hmm. That's reality. That's the reality. That's, you know, that's what we should do. Everyone are beings. Everyone is beings. Everyone is humans. So, yeah. Underst be mindful of the stress and understand it and see the cause of it and let go of the cause of it. In order to let go of the cause of that, you need to fill your mind with kindness, compassion, sympathy, joy, equanimity. Okay, that's all. That's what I wanted to tell you today. But uh, you know, I couldn't. Uh, yeah, we, we we talked about this briefly, not very widely. But let's just. Let's talk about that. And also, I want you to practice this um, in your home and in, in society. In, and also when you, are dri when you drive. <laughs> I'm working on that one. <laughs> you know, when you drive. That's a work. Don't think, of, don't think of what others did, what wrong things that they did. Just be, just focus on what you are doing. Other if somebody just cut you off, just slow down and let it, let him do, and go, continue. We can be as peaceful as, we can be completely peaceful, but we still need to watch out for the, uh, for the anger of others. You want to watch yourself and you want to focus your mind on what you are doing, not what others are doing. If you don't do anything wrong, if you don't, uh, you know, if you don't drive um, crazy. crazy so far, that is, you are safe. And if somebody just comes towards you and stop it and let him go, and that's all. Be mindful of around you. That's all. Don't get angry with them. 
Just let them be happy with what they are doing. So they can continue that for a long time. So don't get hate. Don't hate them. Don't get angry. Why I am asking you to do that? Because when you are angry, when you get hated, you are not happy. Are you going to, are you going to follow him and stop him and kill him? Can you do that? No. Will it solve your problem? Huh? Will that solve your problem? No. no. You are going to stop him in his car and you are going to beat him. Will that solve your problem? Yeah. No. No. It'll make it a million times worse. So yeah, so then, then what is the right way to do then? Be peaceful. Just let it go, just be yourself. Mm-hmm. Right? That's why, you know, see, you know, see, is there any solution? And is that guy is going to listen to you? Yeah. No. No. Mm-hmm. Just, it just creates a big pressure in you. That's all. That's all. Then you go to your house and you are thinking of it, you are thinking what he did and you are, to, you are telling others to do, ask others also what happened and others also get frustrated, they get angry and they are also blaming, blaming to that guy, that guy or girl or whatever, whoever, whoever he or he is. Just, you know, we are, we are just um, sharing anger. Mm-hmm. We are sharing suffering with others, by just talking about it. Just stop talking about it. Don't tell it to anybody else. Mm-hmm. Just let it go. Don't talk about it again. Just let it, let that go. That's all. You know, just do it once and see how faithful you are and how happy you are. I tried it. You want, yeah, everybody should try this. Yeah, it really worked. I do it like, do my best. Yeah, we want to do it as my best, and the more we practice, we can get it. We can get more result. So more than million percent guaranteed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So look at yourself. To, you know, be mindful of the way you think. That's all. Okay, that's enough for today. So may you be well and happy. May you be able to let go. Of stress and uh, may you be able to deal with the stress and be away uh, be free from stress and depression and be peaceful sadhu, sadhu. sadhu.